Okay, so we have our two mass at half the distance from the fulcrum <coughs> and our one mass at two distance from the fulcrum. And then the two mass will be, I'll put it on here on the top of the ramp and then it will be launched. And we will see with how much velocity the one mass will come out with. Two hundred and fifty-three, one hundred and ninety. Two hundred and fifty-three divided by one ninety equals one point thirty-three. Two fifty-five, one sixty-nine. Two fifty-five divided by one sixty-nine equals one point three. Two fifty six one ninety eight one point twenty nine two fifty three one ninety two fifty three divided by one ninety one point thirty three 191, 256, 256 divided by 191, 1 1.34, 252, 195, 1.29, 254, 198, 1.28, 185, 256, 256 divided by 185, 1.38, 252, 195, 1.29, 254, 193 1.31 6 195 we have 131 2.55 1.34 All right, so I've just finished analyzing a couple of trials of the lever experiment. 
I've been doing dozens and dozens of trials and I've selected the best ones. And I mean by that, I try to get the most velocity out of it. Uh, now, on average, most of them, uh, the difference between the incoming velocity and the outgoing velocity was a ratio of 1.3. Now, the best ones uh, are over here. So I have, uh, I've also been calculating the momentums and the kinetic energies. So for trial one, I had um, an incoming speed of 0 0.1, 0 0.157 meters per second. And the second, the one mass, no, so the one mass came in with 0 0.118 100, meters per second. And the one mass came out with 0 0.157 meters per second, which is a difference of 1.33. Ideally, it should be 1.4, but it, it's 1.33 because there is some loss, right? So, which means that the momentum, mass two came in with momentum of 0 0.0754, and mass one came out with 0 0.0507, which is a loss, um, significant loss, and that's the point. Momentum is not conserved, I believe, in a lever experiment, but kinetic energy should be um, uh, conserved. And so the incoming kinetic energy was 0 0.00445 joules, and the outcoming was 0 0.00398 joules. So we have lost a bit. So from 44 to so 44 versus 39, which is like a 5.05 loss of energy. I believe that's around 11% loss of kinetic energy. And the second trial, the difference between the incoming speed and the outcoming speed is 1.33. Again, um, when we take a look at the momentum, the incoming momentum is 0 0.0754, outcoming momentum is 0 0.0509. And these are always going to be the same ratios, I believe. Yeah, the ratio between the momentums is also around 0.30, let's see, 754 divided by 509. We got 1.48 difference between the momentums. Um, the, for the kinetic energy, the incoming kinetic energy was 0 0.0044, and the outcoming uh, kinetic energy was 0 0.0040. So we have lost a little bit. I, I, know, I think it's like 9%. A loss of kinetic energy to the third trial. Uh, the difference between the velocities is 1.34. Um, the momentums are incoming momentum is 0 0.0748. Let's take a look. 748 divided by uh, 0 0.050 which is 1.49 if we divide them. For the kinetic energy, we have incoming kinetic energy of 0 0.0043 and outcoming one mass left with 0 0.0039 joules. So again, we have 43 versus 39. We have lost about 11 to 12% of kinetic energy. The fourth trial is the best one. Uh, this is the only one that came out that best, that that well, that accurate. Um, the difference between the incoming speed and the outcoming speed is 1.38. I've never been able to create um, a higher outcoming velocity. So you have 0.162 meters per second for the one mass coming out. This is the highest velocity that I've been able to, to create. Well, I, I didn't create it. Nature created it. Because all the other ones was 1 point, uh, point 0.157, point 0.157, point 0.157, and now we have point 0.162. Um, so again, the momentums, we have point 0.0748, which is the incoming momentum, and 
the one mass came out of momentum 0 0.0523. And for the kinetic energy, the incoming kinetic energy was 0 0.0043 and the outcoming one mass left with 0 0.0042. So this is very accurate, only like one or 2% loss of kinetic energy. This is the best trial ever. Uh, from all the dozens that I've done. And then the fifth trial, we once again have a difference of 1.23. So again, about 10 to 11% loss of kinetic energy. And uh, yeah, for the momentum, it's always the same. We have about 0.74 uh, coming in and 0.50 coming out. Always the same kind of uh, difference. So these are the best trials. The one point thirty eight is the best one. I it wasn't. It was literally impossible to get the one mass coming out at twice the speed, at least for this setup. No matter how many times I tried, I've tried dozens and dozens of times. It uh, never came out two times the velocity. The best trial was uh, that it came out with one point thirty eight times the velocity of the incoming. And that's two velocity. All right, so that's it.